What's going on everyone? Benny No back at it again with another edition of Benny No's Road to the Show. That's right, I'm super excited. There's two things I want to share with you today. One of them has to do with my Dodgers and one of them has to do with Lumpy. But first things first, let's jump right into this first at bat. We're playing the Cincinnati Reds. I think I have a 47 or 48 game hitting streak on the line, so I'm super excited to continue that. Daily videos every day, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Daily videos, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Here we go. At Dodger Stadium with Benny. No, first pitch, or second pitch, actually. This is a hot shot up the middle for a base hit. Okay, hitting streak continued. We're going to find out right now how many games it was. I can't remember if it was 46, 47, 48, or 50. It's 47. Okay, so we're at 47, baby. All right, here we go. The Dodgers. And the Tampa Bay Rays are in the World Series. Two games have been played thus far. And I have to say, um, I am just, I have a great feeling about this series. Uh, obviously, I want my team to win, the Dodgers. But this is going to be an exciting series. I can already tell, man. Because oh, there's just so much back and forth. The Dodgers, in the first game, took a huge lead. Only allowed, I think, uh, Kershaw pitched phenomenal through six innings, I think it was, or through five. I can't remember. He didn't pitch a whole bunch, but what he did pitch was amazing. He only gave up one run, I believe. It was one hit, that one home run. And the Dodgers gave up a couple runs at the end of the game, but they ended up winning like eight to three, if I'm not mistaken. So the first game was just like a continuation of game of the last three games the Dodgers have played where they just seemed super unstoppable. That ball's lifted the left. It looks like he's running back, but it looks like it's going to be warning track power and caught. So game one, the Dodgers kicked butt, had a great game, destroyed the Tampa Bay Rays. But it was only game one, of course, right? Because, you know, you got to win four. It's a best of seven series. Enter game two in Blake Snell. And we're going to talk about that as soon as we get to the next game. We usually play three or four games in these videos. Hitting only, I don't do defense, so if you guys get bored, I'm sorry. I love hitting. Defense makes me bored. So we're going to the next game. All right, baby, here we go. Second game in this video, and we're also talking about game two. Now, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I was so excited for game two that my wife and I, we went out to dinner um, beforehand. So we ate really good, and you know what happened? I came home, sat on the couch. Had my guitar, watching the game, and I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep. Dynamic challenge time. Uh, make contact with every swing and record a hit. Yeah, let's just do that because I'm going to swing at almost every pitch. Here we go. First pitch. Let's see if we can do this dynamic challenge. I'm going to tell you what happened, man. I fell asleep. I'm not going to lie. I woke up somewhere around. Oh, come on, baby. Get over his head. Please. No. We made good contact, but I did not make a hit. Challenge failed. I actually think my hitting streak is on the line. I'm 0 for 2 today in the bottom of the 6. So let's cut the talk and let's get serious here. We need to get a base hit. Hopefully a home run here at Dodger Stadium. Benny No from the right side of the bats down the pipe. That ball's launched. Way back into left field. Gone. 420 feet. Oh, 417. I was off by 3, but super close. What a jack there by Benny No to give him his 66th home run of the season. Wow. 66. I forget what the record. I should know this. The record, I think, is what? 70? Did, did someone hit 70 in a season? I think Barry Bonds hit 73, if I'm not mistaken. So Benny No definitely going to break the home run single season record. We'll find out when that happens what it was. I'm pretty sure it was 73. I, I keep forgetting, though. Leave me a comment if I've forgotten. I'm just horrible and can't remember how many... Home runs the single season home run hitter has. I'm pretty sure it's 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 73. Okay, here's the blast. Beautiful shot to left field. I sit in that section that the ball landed, but on the right side of the aisle. So that ball would have been inside of me to the left a little bit. If right, if I'm if, I, if you're thinking about my point of view. Okay, so I fell asleep at World Series Game Two. Yeah, not at the World Series, but you know during the World Series. So when I woke up, I'm, the Dodgers were losing. I think five to nothing. But more importantly, I had no idea Blake Snell was throwing a no-hitter. It wasn't until Lumpy, who was up paying attention the whole time, said, Dad, they're throwing a no-hitter. And I was confused. I was like, no, no, no really? It's 5-0. You sure it's not just a shutout? No, Dad, they're throwing a no-hitter. And then when I realized they were throwing a no-hitter, <laughs> that's, I think, when Chris Taylor hit the two-run home run to make it 5-2. to two. We're going to go to the next game, and then we'll continue this talk. Well, I'll just keep going because it's not going to take too long. So Chris Taylor hits a two-run home run. 
Oh, the current season is in it. We got to return to the clubhouse. Okay, real quick. The Dodgers ended up losing uh, six to four. They made a nice comeback, got close, but just didn't have enough in the tank. And we'll talk about the lumpy news and game three coming up. All right, baby, here we go. Game three in this video. And also we're talking about game three of the World Series. Now, this is going to be a fun game. I have a feeling the Dodgers are going to destroy Tampa Bay in the third game, to be quite honest. And I'm going to tell you why. You got Walker Buehler going for the Dodgers. It's the Dodgers' ace. This guy usually pitches phenomenal. If he can avoid the walks that he gives up and the high pitch counts, I expect him to go seven or eight innings, to be quite honest, and shut them down. 49-game hit streak for Benny No, by the way. And the other reason is because... Charlie Morton is going to be pitching for the Tampa Bay Rays. Now, if we all know, remember where Charlie Morton came from, he was a part of that 2017 World Series champion Astros team with the asterisk. Uh, he even admitted he knew what was going on, and he was ashamed that he didn't say anything. So that being said, the Dodgers have extra reason to want to lay into the Rays <laughs> on uh, uh, the next game three. Um, and I score a run. RBI single. I should have went to second. So the Dodgers, I think, are going to destroy. I think they're just going to come out on firing on all cylinders in game three. I really do believe that. Charlie Morton, like I said, on the mound. The Dodgers have a score to settle with the Astros. Unfortunately, they were not able to play them this year because Tampa Bay obviously beat the Astros. But this is more motivation for the Dodgers knowing that a part of that team they're going to be facing on uh, game three is going to give them extra motivation. Plus with the... With Mookie Betts, I mean, come on. Here we go, baby. Dynamic challenge time. We're going to power swing to advance the runner, but really we're going to power swing to hit a home run. Here we go. Bottom four. We're destroying them 6 nothing. There's a power swing. That ball's launched. Boom. <laughs> 410 feet. 410. Challenge completed. How far was that home run? 404. Dang it. I'm like within single digits, so that's cool. I'm within single digits of the home runs. That is awesome. Let's take another look at this home run by Benny No so we can see this thing of beauty in flight. Boom. Another low blast to left field. 403 is the beautiful distance there, man. You got to love it. All right. So the news that I've been waiting to tell you guys that you obviously know from the title of the video, Lopi is finally going to be playing a scrimmage game. Yes, I am super excited. This is the first scrimmage game he has played since the virus has stopped all sports activities. So, oh, man, we are super excited, obviously. That ball is going to be launched in the left for a base hit. Super, like I said, I, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm so super excited. I keep saying super excited because Lumpy is just so excited to play baseball. The kids are finally going to get out there and play. It's a scrimmage game, you know, but there'll be live umps, and it'll be... They don't know the difference. They just know they're going out there to play. And that is what I'm excited to see. For those of you that don't know, just so that we're on the same page, my son does play on a travel ball baseball team. But my main motivation for keeping my son on this team is for him to play and have fun. Really, that's it. I know the team and the coaches are probably geared towards winning and making sure these kids, you know, are, are competitive. And that's great. I want them to be competitive and have that spirit. But my main motivation for having my son play right now is just because... I want him to play. I want him to play baseball, have fun, and enjoy himself with his team. That's really the only reason, and obviously because I want to record it and, uh, and show you guys his wonderful experiences on the baseball field. So that is why I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not like, oh my God, it's a scrimmage game. I hope they win. No, I don't care less. It's a scrimmage game. I want them to have fun. I want to see Lumpy get some at-bats, take some good swings, play some catcher maybe, maybe play some infield, make some diving unnecessary catches. That is really what I want to see. Obviously, I want to see the other kids perform happy and, 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 and play well. And obviously, for kids to be happy, they need to win. But no, I, I just want them to have fun. I'm sure, like I said, the coaches want them to win, and that's all great. My main motivation for my son out there is for him to have fun, to learn, and to have fun because he plays all kinds of sports. Who knows? Lumpy might be a baseball player. He might be a golf player. He's never even played hockey. He might play hockey. Who knows? He loves everything. All right, guys, we're out of here. Game three predictions. The Dodgers are going to win. Lumpy with a scrimmage game coming up, so be on the lookout for that video. Don't forget to binge watch, guys. We're out of here. Peace.